Hello everyone, my name is Dark Hero, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can obtain the strongest weapons in the entire game. The process in itself is quite easy and you can actually do this as soon as you leave the tutorial section in the Sky Islands and right after you unlock the paraglider. So with that being said, what you want to do is head to the lookout and climb the tower. Your goal here is to reach Hyrule Castle, preferably the top. You may need to bring some stamina items with you, however, if you do use the trick that I showed you in my previous video, you can land on top of your wing device while you are gliding, which is going to allow you to reach the castle without even having to spend any stamina. If you manage to land on the tower, you can open a chest that is going to contain a Royal Guard Spear, which is a very powerful spear. But that's not the strongest weapons that we're looking for. Climb down a couple of floors and you're going to find a Royal Broadsword, which is a pretty powerful weapon, but again, not the strongest one, it's just one that we're going to pick up on our way there. Fall down another floor, and if you come here to the left, you can open a chest which is going to contain 50 rupees for you. If you keep exploring this floor, you're going to see that besides the statues, there are going to be quite a few powerful weapons, such as the Royal Guard's Claymore, which comes with a starting base attack of 32, and it can actually increase exponentially whenever its passive effect is active, which means that when this weapon has lower durability, it's going to do a lot more damage. And just in front of that statue where we found the Claymore, you can find a Royal Guard's bow along with a few arrows. This is an incredibly powerful bow, as it comes with 50 base attack being the strongest bow in the entire game. And just a little bit to the left, you can also find a Royal Guard Spear. If you take a few more steps to the left, right after the staircase, you're also going to find a Royal Guard Shield, along with a Royal Guard Sword. These weapons are pretty much the best in their own category, having the highest base values for each of their respective categories. However, you can see that these weapons have a bit of rust on them, that means that these weapons can actually be fixed and upgraded later on in the game. But before we talk about that, I'm going to show you a few more locations that has even more of these weapons. Also, in case you didn't get this before, in the Royal Throne you can light up these braziers with any sort of fire, and if you do that, you're going to be able to open a chest that is going to contain a brand new champion's tunic. From the first floor you can go to the left side tower, climb up the stairs, and you're going to find a Royal Halberd, which is not going to be as powerful as a Royal Guard Spear, but is still a very powerful weapon that has the increased benefit of dealing extra damage whenever you perform a flurry rush. You can also find an extra Royal Guard's bow by going outside to the castle's entrance and jumping down from the left side to the left castle tower. This location is Princess Zelda's study, and here you can find a Royal Guard's bow on top of the desk. If you turn back and go across to the other side of the Zelda study, you can also find a Knight's Claymore, which again isn't as powerful as a Royal Guard's Claymore, but it is most likely going to be more powerful than any other weapon you may have at this point. And from there, if you jump down into the hole, you're going to be in Princess Zelda's room, where you can find yet another Royal Guard bow. And just outside that door, you're going to find another Royal Guard Claymore. There's a few more Royal Guard Claymores and shields and bows scattered throughout the castle that you may be able to find. However, those areas are nowhere near as accessible as these ones that you can reach without even having to fight a single enemy. So if you want to start a brand new save file and become as powerful as possible, this is the way to do it. Of course, you're also going to need to upgrade those weapons, as I stated earlier, and you're going to need to find powerful fusion materials to add to these weapons to make them the strongest they can be. Some people do consider that a spoiler, so I'm saving that for another video where I'm going to be showing you how you can make the strongest weapons in the entire game, and how you can even abuse weapons that become stronger when they are about to break, without actually breaking them. So look forward to those videos, and if you enjoyed this one, please subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Dark Hero, and as always, happy hunting!